Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, this is Lali. So for today's makeup look, I've decided to go in with this really pretty reversed ombre half cut crease. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, but anyway, the third Halloween makeup look that I was going to upload, I've decided not to upload anymore. Because um, when I was editing the video, I noticed that I was like looking down at the mirror the whole time. So you can't really see what I'm doing. I was like literally like this. So you couldn't really see what I was doing. So I thought it was kind of pointless of, for me to post it if you guys weren't even going to be able to see what I really created. So I'm thinking I might just post a picture on Instagram. If you guys want to go check it out, I'm going to be leaving my social media information in the description down below. Um, so yeah, you guys could go check it out if you're curious um, what the third Halloween makeup look was. Um, but anyway, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And if you guys want to achieve this look, you guys already know what to do. Hi guys, as you guys can see, the brows and my left eye is already done. I also primed my face off camera, so let's just get started. To prime my eye, I'm using my Makeup Forever Full Coverage Concealer. To set my eye, I'm using the Banana Powder from the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. And today I'm using the Jaclyn Hill Palette and the first shade I'm going in with is called In Light. And I'm just going to apply it on the brow bone. And then the second shade I'm using is called Crimsicle and I'm just going to apply it on my crease and the outer edge of my eye. The next shade I'm going in with is called Hunts and I'm going to apply it on the crease and the outer edge of the eye as well. The last shade I'm going in with is called Jax and I'm just going to apply it on the outer edge and the crease of my eye and I'm just going to start blending everything out. To cut my crease, I'm going back in with my Makeup Forever Full Coverage Concealer. I then grabbed the white shade from the 35B Morphe palette and then this shade I'm applying on the inner corner of the eye. The next shade I'm going in with is called Crimsicle and I'm just going to apply it right next to the white shade. And I'm going to be going back and forth with these two shades just to make sure it's well blended. I'm 
I'm then going in with the shade called Hunt and I'm going to apply it right next to the shade called Crimsicle and once again I'm just going to be going back and forth to make sure it's well blended. And the last shade I'm going in with is called Jax and I'm just going to apply it on the outer edge of the eye. Uh, and once again go back and forth just to make sure that it's all well blended. Now that the ombre effect is done, I'm going to create a cat line using the Makeup Forever Full Coverage Concealer. The first shade I'm apply on the liner is called Jax and you know I'm just creating the reversed look so the last shade I used was Jax and so the next shade I'm gonna go in with is called Hunt and then the third Crimsicle and the last is gonna be the white shade and this is just gonna create that reversed ombre effect I was looking for. Now that the eyes are done, I'm gonna go in with my favorite mascara, which is the Rimmel London Scandalized Mascara. Today I'm using the Ardell Wispy Lashes. For foundation, like always, I'm going in with my CoverGirl True Blend Foundation in the shade T30. For concealer today I'm using the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer in the shade Light and this is number 20. To set my face like always, I'm going in with my Laura Mercier setting powder. In the show of the eye look, I'm going in with the shade called Jax and I'm just going to apply this shade on the lower lash line. Now I'm going back in with the Rimmel London Mascara and applying it on the lower lashes. And to finish off the look, I'm going in with the shade called In Light and applying it on the inner corners of the eye. For bronzer today, I'm using the Patrick Star Bronzer in the shade Give Me Life.
To bake my face, I'm going back in with my Laura Mercier powder. For blush, like always, I'm going in with my Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. For highlight today, I am using the, the Fenty Beauty Highlight in the shade Hustle Up Baby. For my lips, I'm using my favorite combination, which is the Milani Lip Liner, and this is number four. And then I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lipstick in the shade Peachy. And last but not least, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lip Gloss in the shade Unreal. Well, this is the final look I really hope you guys enjoyed this video like always I had so 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 much fun making this for you guys please don't forget to like comment and subscribe help me reach my 100 subscribers and also don't forget that when I reach 150 subscribers I'm doing a $100 giveaway so please share with your friends if you guys enjoy my videos I really appreciate that and like I said before, it's only 150 people, so you guys have a bigger opportunity, a bigger chance to win the $100. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.